uh, I'm a graphic designer. That's what I do for my day job. So I just take all those skills to take them home, and I do uh, fan art and some original stuff uh, on the side. And then I just do a couple conventions throughout the year. So, you know, I've this is my third one for this year, but yeah, it's going pretty well. I've always started with music, and then I shifted from music to art in college. And then uh, when I got my gig doing graphic design, paid the bills well enough for me to do all this. And like, I don't know, I've always been reading comics and I love Star Wars. So I, I post all my art on uh, my Instagram, my art Instagram, it's Ian Maxfield underscore design. Um, and then I have a Facebook, just Ian Maxfield design. Um, I'm mostly those, just those two places. Uh, but And then I have a website. My website's ianmaxfielddesign.com. I have a web store on there and a bunch of other contact info. Um, and that's, I think that's everywhere that I can be reached, but yeah. Yeah, so my name's uh, Mitchell's Pixels. I, I do uh, pixel art and cartoon stuff. Um, it depends on the character, the way I'm feeling, but normally I'll do um, like a kind of Saturday morning cartoon vibe to all my stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of video games, huge fan of uh, old cartoons, that kind of thing. I have a background in animation, and I do animation as a day job. Um, so this kind of, this is just like my creative outlet. This is where I have my fun and, and stuff like that. And it helps me, um, like having that cartoon anatomy helps me um, like break it down for animation and see how they do um, certain effects and things like that. So you can follow me at uh, Mitchell's Pixels um, uh, on Instagram and Mitchell's Pixels 1 on Facebook. I am a children's book illustrator, so we've got some of like the books that I've worked on over here. Um, that's what I do for my day job, and I love doing it. Um, but I also love a lot of nerd stuff, so for fun and to test out new ideas and new concepts, I'll do a lot of fan art. Um, I've done a whole deck of Star Wars cards, which was a great project. Uh, it took a long time, and it was really cool to kind of carry through something that large to the end. Um, do a lot of like cute cartoons, children's shows, Star Trek, um, good variety of stuff. Um, but it's always fun to do fan art and it's great to come to cons too. Um, I've got a lot of influences. I really love Art Nouveau and that comes across a lot in some of my pieces, especially like the Ray over there, which is very Mooka inspired. Um, and I really love kind of floral or botanical elements that kind of tends to creep in in a lot of different ways. Um, some of the pieces are a lot more detailed. I've played out with more painterly styles versus more flat colors. Uh, again, like the fan art is the place where I get to experiment and try out new ideas, so I tend to push things in different directions other than what I normally do for work. Um, I'm on Instagram and Tumblr. I am at the Gentle Honeybee. Um, and you can find my artwork on Rebecca Sorge, S O R G E dot com. It's my maiden name. Haven't changed it my website yet, though. Um, yeah, I can link to all the books I've done and other projects. Yeah, uh, self-taught artist, uh, mostly draw psychedelic trips. Lately I've been focused on video game and fan art a little bit to get into the conventions a little bit more. But uh, yeah, most of my originals you can see, like this blue lady over here and everything. I took a trip to Peru and that's kind of what got me going. It used to be all black and white and ever since then it's been all about the color and the vibrancy. So yeah kind of what got me on that route. Been a huge nerd my whole life, love video games, love comics, love anime, so anything to uh, express that in, in my own way is, is always fun to do. If you check out Papa Nichols on Instagram, and I also have a website, uh, www.papanicholsart.com, you can check out. Uh, Twitter, same thing, Papa Nichols. So I have a lot of like Legend of Zelda prints and stuff like that. I like video games and anime, so a lot of things that I draw are inspired from those things. I also like animals. I like a lot of like bright colors, um, pinks and greens. I like things that are like fun and just cute. Growing up with my brothers playing video games together, watching cartoons are all things that like I love doing. And eventually, when I got interested in drawing just kind of naturally fell together and yeah I like all those things it's fun <laughs> it's been really great um, I'm on Instagram at scribblebug underscore art um, I also do cosplay under just scribblebug